Hello everyone, welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. In today's video, I'll be focusing on the Tangle Dragon Air by Norma Burnell CZT. As you can see, I've drawn two sets of curved lines. On the first set, I'm adding these little branches. They look a little bit like fescue and I'm putting these on the outside. Then we're doing this little over and under, a bit like the tangled cadent. When you're doing this, it doesn't really matter whether you start under or over as long as you keep it consistent. I know it's something I do when I'm drawing this tangle, forget which way I'm going and um, it doesn't really matter so long as you just keep it consistent. So on this set of curved lines I'm doing those little branches on the inside and again over and under, over and under. There's lots of ways we can vary this tangle. We can start with a straight line or a curved line. So as you can see, as I add these little branches, the first one looks almost like a little tree. So we, we can add those little dots as we go or after we've drawn the branches. So you can see I started on that one under then over. As long as you're consistent, that's the main thing. So this one, I started over and under, over and under. Another thing you can do to add variety is once you've got these branches, you can do short ones and long ones. And then the way you join them, you can vary that too and it will give you a different effect so if on one side I just do basic from one dot to the other remember if you start with under over keep that going on this side you can see I'm really curving that joining line and it gives a completely different effect I've decided today to just use line. I'm not going to do any color. I'm using black and I've taken this A4 pad, folded it in half, cut that, and on one half I've folded it. So you could just make a greetings card or you could cut it up and do just plain pictures. So I'm going to start on one using a number 10 jelly roll and a gold pen. So I'm going to start with a really curvy line. To make this line a little bit more interesting, I'm going to thicken it in certain areas. And it doesn't matter exactly where. I find if you do it on those curves, it makes it a little bit easier. And um, just whatever you think looks nice.
I'm not going to add branches to the whole thing so I've selected this little section first so I'm going to do a little bit at a time and then uh, decide where my next little area will be I'll just add another branch there and you can see it looks like a little bit of a frill I'm going to do my next one in this section I'm now going to use a gold gel pen to fill some of these little areas and I'm going to start from the stalk and radiate out just from one corner and I think I probably should have started from the other corner but not to, not to worry for this part um, I'll do it on the next section starting at that bottom corner I'm kind of going in the same direction as those little branches almost as if I'm going with the grain and they look a little bit like fish gills Thank you. 
For my next piece, I'll be using a gold gel pen and two white gel pens, a number 10 and a number 8. I'm going to start with the gold and just draw a series of lines and then the branches. So it looks like a row of trees. I went the wrong way, never mind. It's so small you won't notice it. I've done it again. Lucky it was on that bottom branch and you won't notice it again. Just take your time and think about it before you start. Maybe think in your head under, over, under, over. I'm going to fill these sections now with aura lines. I'm auring those branches coming out from the stem. In the last sample, I came from the corner and radiated outwards, but this time they're just echoing the line below them. Um, I should have kept to that stem in that first section. Uh, let's see. Uh, can't really do anything about it, but I think in the long run you won't really notice. I'm doing another row of trees using my number 10 white gel pen and I'll put in the branches and the outline but I think I'll use the finer one, the number 8, to fill each of the sections with lines. If you find that your trees are overlapping that's fine, just keep drawing on top and that's why I did the white last because it then looks like the gold is sitting behind anyway because it's a darker color. Forgot about using the finer gel pen there so I'll leave it and come back with the other number eight afterwards. And yes, the finer lines look better. Of course, you could just use the 08 for the whole thing. It's just that I had a number 10 there. If you only have an 8, that's fine. Just use that for the whole thing.
Here's another sample that I did, slightly different. You can see that on this one I've clumped the trees a little bit differently. Just have fun. Using a number 10 gel pen, I'm going to start with a curved line, add some branches, but notice that I'm not touching that center line because I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to add the branches to these other branches and uh, do the same sort of thing as I did like when I did the trees. They look a little bit like holly leaves. To fill these leaves, I'm going to use a number 08. And like that dragony kind of shape that we did in the first sample, I'm coming up from that bottom corner and just radiating out, fanning it to fill that space. Going back to my number 10 pen, I'm just going to add a little bit of weight to some of these lines so that the leaves connect to that center branch a little bit. On my last sample, I'm going to draw a few random circles varying the size and wherever I place them, then nothing in order. Some of them I'll overlap. For this exercise I'll be using three pens, a gold, a white jelly roll, number eight, and a bronze. One that's similar to the gold was also similar in colour so I chose to use that other bronze. And I'm going to start with this colour. Because bronze is the darker colour, I'm going to start with that and then gradually come forward until I get to the white. And you can see I've just divided that circle up and around the edge I'm doing that dragon air pattern under and over until I get all the way around. Once I've got around I'm going to fill these wedges, one of them just with lines radiating from the point and the other one I'm going to break up a little bit. So I'm going to alternate these two things until I've filled this whole circle.
add more bronze but make sure that it's kind of balanced so step back and look at the overall picture of it once I've got some bronze in there I'm going to work on the next layer which will be gold and if these overlap that's fine just draw over the bronze again in the same way the same pattern Looking at the overall pattern, I know I'm going to add white, but I think I'll just need another bronze there. And you can see this time, I'm drawing it as if it's sitting behind. I don't want this one to overlap because I want the gold on top. I just didn't want two whites next to each other. So there you have it, four simple designs. They might be simple, but they look very effective. The white and gold on black, I think, just contrasts beautifully. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, do that so that you don't miss out on future videos. Until next week. Stay safe and bye for now. If you'd like to see more of my videos, head over to my YouTube channel or there are a couple of links here on the screen and there's the subscribe button.